A soldering gun and iron may sound similar, but as discussed above, they are different. In this section, we'll talk about how a soldering gun is different from a soldering iron. So, let's go. Soldering iron. Number 1. Uses. Usually, the small soldering irons are used on circuit boards or light electric jobs. It is a better choice if you have to deal with soldering jobs that require minimal heat. However, different sizes can be used for other applications. So, check for the type of soldering iron before you choose one. Number 2. Advantages. A soldering iron is easy to work with as compared to a soldering gun. It's because a soldering iron is light in weight. There are numerous different sizes available, which you can choose from according to your requirements. You can also find soldering iron with different tips. However, most tips are made from iron. And as iron stays hot for a long interval, you need not to heat it repeatedly. So, a soldering iron offers a smooth flow. Number 3. Disadvantages. Now, soldering iron is good for small jobs. But when it comes to dealing with large jobs where high wattage is needed, soldering iron becomes inefficient. Also, the soldering irons heat up slower as compared to soldering guns. Soldering guns. Number 4. Uses. While performing large electrical jobs, the soldering gun is what you should prefer. It is because of the high wattage and the heat they produce. You can also use a soldering gun for small electric jobs, but you need to be more careful. It is because these guns can sometimes damage the surrounding areas you're working on. Number 5. Advantages. Soldering guns come with a higher wattage. The typical the range lies between 100,240 watts. It means you can use it for heavy jobs. Also, it is quite flexible to work with because of the loop-shaped tips it comes with. This loop-shaped tip helps in working in narrow spaces. However, this becomes hard when it comes to soldering tiny components. Number 6. Disadvantages. The soldering gun comes with a copper tip. And this tip slowly dissolves after use. So, you have to replace the copper tip quite frequently. Also, it is heavier when compared to the soldering iron, which makes it hard to handle. So, when you're dealing with small jobs, you need to be extra careful. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.